guys sorry it's dark but welcome to my oslo slash europe vlog um i just took a shower after i got back from a really long travel day and i just needed to shower before i like filmed myself on camera i was like getting disgusted but anyway um i have my retainer in if you're wondering and yeah i made it to oslo so i flew from lax to Helsinki and then had like a three hour four hour layover there and then flew from Helsinki to Oslo and then had to take the bus to the central station and then walk from there just across the street to my hotel so it's just been like such a long day um but I'm about to go to bed or try to go to bed um hopefully my time zones aren't too out of whack but I do have a jet lag trick which I'll explain at some point and yeah i'm excited to take you along this last minute trip with me hey guys good morning it is um 11 30 in oslo and unfortunately i couldn't sleep that much so i think i slept about like five hours which i guess is okay considering um i was going to bed so early in the day for me on LA time um so I got up at like 5 30 tried to just like lay in bed um and chill and then I meditated journaled you know all the things and then got ready for the day walked to Joe and the Juice which is of course my first stop here I love Joe and the Juice um and I got a smoothie and coffee um, smoothie was definitely hard to drink because it's so cold here. It's freezing and I'm wearing so many layers too. But yeah, so I broke my fast. So basically my like jet lag hack is like I eat a huge meal before my travel day starts and then I don't eat um, basically my whole travel day until it's like breakfast time in the place that I'm going so my body like resets so sometimes you do depending on like when your flight is and for how long sometimes you do end up fasting for over like 24 hours which is a lot but i just make sure to drink a lot of water um and yeah so i broke my fast this morning um thank god i was dying and i also have had such a bad headache i think because i haven't had coffee in so long it's getting better now but yeah so um I'm gonna meet my friend Christian for coffee now or in a few minutes and then just like chill walk around today I don't know as much as I can in the cold and then go to Lola Hammer tonight with a squad that we have going up so I'm excited but yeah so happy to be here it feels surreal um so yeah I'll just take you guys through my day this is my cute little tiny little hotel for the night okay See you later. I do the same. I was supposed to join two weeks ago with that. It's like I tried to do the same thing. And, uh, Are you gonna wave? Huh? <laughs> it looks a bit rough. Um, just YouTube. Vlogging. <laughs> oh, she's vlogging on YouTube. And then my vlog era. That's what. Oh my god. Hello. Hey. <laughs> Welcome. Well, your camera is so good. Yeah, yeah. Man, this but is good lighting. But we have natural lighting. lighting. Yeah. Golden hour. Oh, oh, I got a spray tan. You can definitely tell. <laughs> <laughs> and I just never grew out of it. Yeah. No. As soon as I take them off, I'm scared the monster. Oh. Hey guys. <laughs> We're about to go to Limpy for our first day. Oh my god. <laughs> of who knows what, but this is our hotel that we're staying at in Lillehammer. It's snowing outside. So come along with me. It's snowing. Go. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Hey guys, um, I'm in the hotel room now. I'm in a hotel room with my friend Kate, um, but basically I forgot to video yesterday. We just like went in front of the students at my old school 
and in the morning and just like kind of said a little bit about ourselves and stuff like that and then we played some music and then they put us into groups and we worked with the students like on songs and it was so fun and I'm in, with such a great group of alumni so we've been having so much fun um then we came back to the hotel for dinner um and then I just got ready for bed luckily I slept last night but the night before I didn't sleep at all so yesterday was a little rough but today will be better um and we're about to do the same thing over again so I'm about to head back to the school um we just all had breakfast together as you saw so that was nice and yeah I'm so happy to be here it's just crazy that I'm like back in Norway but it feels good it's snowing outside so it's such a cute town and yeah I'm excited for today breakfast together and now we are hitting the town. A very casual walking. Oh wait. <laughs> Perfect. Oh. I love oh. this civilization also. <laughs> We are at Magnus' studio, Studio A. They just filmed some content. Look at this unreal view though. It's crazy. Crazy. It's crazy. Like what? Just made it to Oslo and look who's here. Hey. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> We're drinking our coffee from Espresso House. So there you go. Uh, <laughs> uh, what did I do? Oh yeah, uh, I met up with my bestie Hannah. She came to my hotel in Oslo and we had brunch slash lunch and then we walked around and went shopping and I got this sweater and a pair of sunglasses, I don't know where I put them. Uh, and then we, oh, there they are. Yes, thank you. Let me show you guys. You're gonna be shocked. Oh yeah, so nice. And then um, we went to some stores and I got a makeup thing. And now we're gonna get ready for dinner and go to a show. So I'll keep you posted. We're walking to dinner. We're we're running across the street. <laughs> this is my vlog. Hey <laughs> <I> vlog. <laughs> decided to go and take some meetings since I was already going to be on this side of the world and see some friends there that I haven't seen in ages so I'm excited and of course do a meetup with fans because London is actually my top city on Spotify so I'm very excited um and it should be a good time but yeah I usually don't wear makeup on planes but I'm just doing a little light makeup since the flight is so short because usually it affects my skin pretty bad but when the flight is short I don't think it will so um yeah hopefully it's fine but if you're wondering how I do my mascara here you go um but yeah I guess that's it and I'll check back in when I'm there
Hey guys, I made it to London. Sorry, it's not getting that way. Uh, where they drive on the wrong side of the road. And I went to my hotel and now, now I'm out with Ryan. <laughs> Blood. We went out for St. Patrick's Day. We're in this bar and we're having a good time. This music isn't very Irish now, is it? No, it's not. Alright, we're gonna see some Irish music tomorrow, guys. Yeah, we are. So stay tuned. Hey guys, it's the next day <laughs> and I just got ready and then Alex came Hi. to my hotel this is so fun. and we're going to go to the meetup now yes, we are. and play a few songs, Trend. but first, be coffee, so yeah, we're going to do that now. Okay, I'm here at the meetup. Look who came. <laughs> so nice. And Alex. Putting your guitar <laughs> What's up guys? Uh, I need to fill you in because I forgot to vlog yesterday, but basically I, um, what did I do during the day? Hmm. I forget. Oh, well, I had my meetup, which I vlogged, which was super, super fun. Um, and yeah, I finally got to meet my friends Alex and Luce in person, which is crazy because I feel like I know them so well from Zoom, but we've never met in person. So that was really cool. And then I went home and got ready to go meet my friend Rebecca literally one of my best friends in the world. We went to school in Norway together and then we moved to LA together in 2019. She was my first roommate there and we got super close. I feel like she's like my older sister and like I haven't seen her since. So like I haven't seen her since before COVID and we met up because she lives in London and um, it was just so, so nice to catch up. And then her boyfriend came um, and we were all just chatting and then we went out after and it was super, super fun. Um, so it was great to see her and like catch up with her and then today I got ready and I went out with my friend Manon and her friend as well and we had lunch it was a super cute vibe and then we went to Harrods which is like a store here that people were telling me to go to so I went there nearly got lost in there it was super crazy i couldn't find my way out and then we got some nice hot chocolate i went into zara and got a couple things um and now i'm back at the hotel and i think i'm gonna go meet alex and Luce in a little bit but yeah i've just been enjoying london and like exploring and it's been super fun i feel like i'm getting a hang of the train or the tube as people say here so yeah, it's been a lot of fun and yeah, really nice to just like be a tourist and like take some time to do that. So anyway, that's the update for now. So it's the next day and this morning I woke up and I didn't feel good for some reason. I think I've just been like go 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 so I was just really tired but I felt like I was gonna like throw up so I had a really slow morning and then I um had a meeting on the east side of town and I'm like west so it took me a really long time to get there um but the meeting went well um and then since I was on that side of town I walked around like Shoreditch area in London for a while which there's like a bunch of cool vintage shops and I went to like this market that was super cool and I got a couple of um, like little bowls because I've been wanting some little bowls for my apartment in LA. So I got a couple and then took the train back to the west side and just got back to the hotel. Um, 
So I think I'm gonna chill here till my dinner plans. Yeah, I figured that I would talk a little bit about like Norway since I haven't really spoken about that on here, but basically, so I, the reason why I like came to London was because I used to go to school in Norway, as I've mentioned before, when I was 18. So that was in 2018, 2019. Um, and they had like an alumni week. So they flew some like alumni out to work with the students and just like talk to them and stuff. And it was so much fun. And a bunch of people from my year, the first year, um, were there. So it was just so nice to see them because I haven't seen some of them since school, which is insane. It's been like almost five years now. But yeah, so it was super fun to go there and it was super last minute. Like I didn't even know I was going till like two weeks ago. So then I was like, you know, what? I should just go to London because I've never been and like take some meetings, see some of my friends here that I have never seen or haven't seen in a while. It's also my top city on Spotify. So I was like, I should do a meetup, you know, all that stuff. And um, yeah, so that it all happened super last minute. But I went to school in Norway because at when I was a senior in high school, I had already decided by like March of my senior year that I wasn't gonna go to a four year university. I was like, I'm just gonna take a gap year and like figure out what I wanna do. So that was already in my mind. And then this songwriter, Emily Warren, that I follow like posted about it on her Instagram story, this new brand new program, no one had ever done it. Um, and I was like, oh, that looks cool. So I like went to the website and all you had to do was send in three songs. So I sent in three songs and I guess they liked what they heard because then I started being in touch with the people that like put on the school um, and then they sent me a real application and I like filled it out and then I had like a FaceTime interview and it went really well and I loved the guys that like put on the school and then I got accepted and I decided to go so I moved to Norway it's in a town called Lillehammer um, which is like two hours outside of Oslo so it's a really small town um, so I moved to Norway when I was 18 and it was super scary and basically the concept of the school is like you're in the studio not the classroom and they would bring in mentors every week from the music industry so we got to like be mentored by some really really cool people including Emily Warren and some other amazing people and it was only like 48 students so we all got super close and you're basically just in sessions like they put you in groups and give you assignments for songs so it was really beneficial and it was only like one year which was perfect so yeah that's like the school in Norway that I went to um and it's still going so that's amazing and yeah it was good to be back and hopefully I'm back there soon because I really do love it there and yeah so anyway I'm just gonna chill a little bit before dinner so I will check back in later London I did some touristy things I went to Buckingham Palace and Big Ben and it was fun and I'm glad that I saw those things and then I uh, took the train back to my hotel and got a coffee and then kind of just got my life together packed up a little bit for tomorrow and organized and refreshed myself and now I'm gonna go out to dinner with some friends so yeah, gonna enjoy my last night in London, but that's almost a wrap on the vlog, and I will check back in. I made it back to my apartment in LA. I uh, did some content today with the new rules guys before i left and then got on a direct flight from london to la so it's pretty easy um and it went by pretty fast but i'm so tired so i'm gonna just quickly shower and go to bed um but that's a wrap on my norway and london vlog so thank you for watching and i'll see you guys next time